deny ya Make all the demons quiet yeah. We were built to thrive, yeah I think that we've all had enough What keeps you up at night, yeah Make all the demons quiet, yeah We were built to thrive, yeah Hello everybody, welcome to PayX Day. It's been 15 years, oh it feels like it's been 15 years, shit. God damn. So, hello, hello everybody, welcome, welcome to PayX Day. So, we have only a bit, a bit, bit of a bit. <laughs> oh, that one didn't. Oh, that got changed. Or at least changed one thing. But uh, we do gotta go over one some stuff. That is uh, happening. Um, so recently, we got in a little bit of a contract disagreement with uh, Mac. It was Mac, Young Blood Zach, and uh, Queen Amy. We had gone to some contract disagreements to where now um, we won't be seeing Mac fight for the PXT World Heavyweight Championship. Uh, so because of that, ladies and gentlemen, we are now going to be uh, having an actual... Hold on, sorry. Look at some fire under this. Yes, all right. Yeah, boy, okay. So because of that, um, they wanted out of the contract, so we went ahead and went with it. Now, no, that is the story-wise with it. Um, real life-wise, uh, this drama happened. Um, not gonna go into detail about what happened, but um, pretty much just some disagreements happened, and because of that, uh, we are no longer gonna be associated with uh, NWA. Uh, Zach, Young Blood, Zach, Queen Amy, and Mac will no longer be making appearances in PXT. Uh, in the foreseeable future, that's why even in the description, there's no more NWA. Uh, we even took out MTW as well, so we are no longer associated with them anymore. Um, I hope for all the best endeavors in the future endeavors. Hope that they succeed in their whole career with uh, streaming in general. So I hope they do well. Now, with that said, we're going to be having a more contendership match. Now, I will not name who are the two that are in that match uh but it's gonna be uh it's gonna be an interesting one i'm gonna say well that is not all uh we are also gonna be having a hardcore championship match here as well because today ladies and gentlemen not only because of it issues that happened with mtw that shane henry lost his uh hardcore championship there but we are giving him a title opportunity here in pxt it's the only one that we didn't do a randomizing for but the, this also uh landed on a perfect time too because uh special shout out to shane henry who is not here tonight the commentator or former commentator in the pxt admin if you will um he is not gonna be here tonight for right now, at least at the beginning, because uh, it is his birthday. So, real quick, ladies and gentlemen, happy birthday, Shane Henry. Uh, you have helped out PXC so much. So, I only wanted to do a quick shout out to Shane for happy birthday, because, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. It's, it's a big day, man. It's a big day for him. So, yeah, happy birthday, Shane. Happy birthday. Now, uh, that's not even some of the only things that we have going on here tonight, because uh, last week, G7, uh, Goddamn, got practically obliterated by Jack Daniels to where he demanded a rematch here tonight. So tonight, G7 will be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Jack Daniels one more time. But that is not even the only thing. Thanks so fucking cool, I know. Oh, uh, but I say he's not here right now, then out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, man. That would be the eight. But now, uh, you know what, actually, there is one more thing to talk about before we get into our first match. Uh, the king of the mountain himself fell to put down the man who took out Michael Wolf, Devil. Fell to take out the bigger bee. He's trying to look past that by looking at something even on a higher horizon. And that is a higher challenge. 
and he chose Smooth Marino, the man that made the White Viper tap out at Operation and challenged him to a one-on-one -on -one match. Now, when we did talk to Smooth about the situation, uh, well, that's really the situation, but about the whole challenge in general, these were Smooth's words. It's a challenge for him, another victim to dismantle for me. My next run isn't about gold, that just comes with it. I'm looking to put people on the shelf for good. I want to hurt people bad. You know, put them out of their misery, leave them in God's hands. Just another stone to kick off the mountain for me. And then just recently we opened up a promo chat, which uh, we are actually using now to probably uh, set up future matches. So we might see another one that just happened here just recently. Heads up there. Um, to where Smooth did put. Uh, no need for this chat in general for our promo chat. Uh, he has a spot for you on the shelf next week. And the King of the Mountain himself, Carlos Hernandez said, Double fight, huh? I like your style, Smooth. So tonight, we will be seeing Carlos Hernandez going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Smooth Marino. I'm actually excited for that one. But right now, though, we actually have an Operation Rematch, but this time not in a hell in a cell. That's right. It is going to be the Jeffries going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Rodrigo in Bugrip. But that is also not it, because what is the name of this goddamn episode? Big Show Announcements. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the announcement for our next Big Show. Our next Big Show is... PXT Bond. Now, no, the PXT part doesn't need to be in there because usually it's PXT presents. But it is Bond. Uh, pretty much we're going electricity theme with it. And that theme of it is going to be where it's going to include the Bond match. Now, we used to call it the Mountaintop match, but in this case, I'm taking back the actual name for the tag team ones, which in this case would be the Bond match. So, in other words, there will be two Bond matches. The first one will be four teams going toe-to-toe -to -toe for the PXT Tag Team Championships. But we will also be having another one at the main event to where randomly generated teams, could be anybody, are formed. And whoever the hell is the last team remaining will actually face off at the next big show to determine who will be first to go for the PXT Championship to where the loser of that match will be going for the YouTube Championship. Now... We will be seeing which teams are chosen next week because uh, we were still debating um, when we were making this match card if we were going to do Bond or the other big show after that, um, which in this case we wouldn't have with Bond because Bond sounds a lot fucking cooler if <laughs> we're wording it like that. So next week there will be four sets of tag team matches. Uh, we're going to be doing the Abyss route with it to where they will be randomly generated. Uh, it could be literally... <laughs> It could be smooth and fucking see Jill on a team. It could be, <laughs> it, could, it could literally be anybody. Uh, what we're not gonna be putting in there is probably the champions. So in other words, uh, Drew Jeffrey, uh, CJ will not be in there. Um, as far as I know, there's a shot to work. Uh, Cause I'm still debating with the tech, like the TikTok and the hardcore, if those ones will be in there or not. As far as I know, I'm gonna say they're eligible for it, but the tag teams, the PXC Championship and the YouTube Championship, uh, those champions will not be in those bomb matches. So heads up on that. Uh, I'm actually excited to see where that goes because that could literally mean any. But with that said, tonight we are starting it off with the Jeffries going one-on-one -on -one with Menace. And this time in an actual tag team match. I'm actually excited to see how this plays out because at Operation, these two faced off against each other, but it was in a hell in a cell. It was not in tag team action. So I'm actually excited to see how this plays out, ladies and gents. There are the Jeffries. Drew Jeffrey and his brother CJ Jeffrey. CJ making a damn splash here in PXT, literally on at Operation, becoming the TikTok champion and winning the PXT Tag Team Champions. In other words, that was the night of CJ at that point. 
Because holy crap, he had a knife. But then same thing can be said with, well, at the time was the number one contenders, the Syndicate. Which, no, the Syndicate are actually not happy that now they have to fight in a Bond match. I want to point that out. They're actually pissed off. But we thought it would be fucking awesome because holy shit, so many teams. Not just that, the Jeffries so far have good luck in uh, Bond matches. Oh, well now I'm a little pissed. <laughs> it didn't save. What the fuck? This game continues to find new ways to piss me the fuck off. <laughs> Let's kill a bitch! <laughs> you you think you hit the save button and then you wanna know what happens? It doesn't fuck save! One issue from 2K24 that I am really, really getting annoyed about. Oh but they saved his shit. What the fuck? <laughs> Now I actually am upset, what the fuck? They saved his! But <laughs> not... Oh my god. Beer Grip. Beer Grip and Rodrigo. Beer Grip technically being the actual first ever PXC champion. And then Rodrigo being the first ever PXC champion of this era of PXC that we're doing, which is the YouTube era. Both men have so far been a dominating force to where they even knocked out an injured domination, which so far has been an absolute, absolute fucking menace in the PXC Tag Team Division. Uh, they won a lot? No. What? They were fucking evil, my guy. See, now I'm saying I didn't save Rodrigo's, because his was supposed to look this fucking cool, too. <laughs> I know this isn't for the tag team championships. I gotta point that out. Why you ask? Breaking fourth wall. It wouldn't let me do it. <laughs> oh shit! Big belly to belly from Rodrigo to Drew Jeffrey. At this point, I believe Drew and Rodrigo at this point just practically have grudges on each other, mainly because Rodrigo made Drew tap out. So then menace one can be formed, but two can win the PXC tag team championships. Now with that said too, Drew did hold his own in the tag team match at Operation in Hell in a Cell to where they picked up the actual W on it. Rodrigo tossing Drew to the apron and then quickly tags in Bugrip. And Bugrip, oh Bugrip think he's smart but CJ <laughs> catching it like a mile away. <laughs> Hunter, did you cover the other thing with Drew? The thing in the Discord with me and him? I actually saw that. Uh, I will cover that another time. Because <laughs> that's a lot. I'm not joking. I was there for like 20 minutes reading. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, Drew taking out Rodrigo. I think he was trying to go for more damage, but now he has to deal with Beer Grip. Oh! Big backbreaker. Now, I want to point out, does that mean we're going to get a DQ? Because he semi-punched the ref. I don't know, but instead goes with a pin, but the ref taking just just was like, nah, bitch, nah, bitch, you punched me. I ain't doing that. Fuck you. God damn, it's hot. What the fuck was up with the ref's eyes? Holy shit. Sorry, that my ADHD kicked it. My God! The eyes, he was so mad about it. Beer Grip getting Drew into the corner and tags in Rodrigo. Oh, I think Rodrigo was... Oh, I think he was playing fucking fake on CJ. Trying to get him to flinch. 
But now it's urgent attention. Someone I guess he just hates dearly. Being Drew. Oh, Drew. Oh, Drew getting out of danger. Oh, and taking advantage by dropping. Rodrigo face first on the top buckle. Oh, shit. Rodrigo, though, not happy about it. And now looks to punish Drew Jeffrey. DJ trying to reach out for the tag. Trying to reach out for the hot tag. Well, Rodrigo's not going to have it. Gets him up and oh, drops him down. Rodrigo tagging in Bugrip, grip, Bugrip. grip. At first, looking again at CJ. Hey man, it was fun making it. Me and Drew thought long and hard with our backstories. Also, the ref doesn't do slow counts when hit. This is also my our first show, technically. Technically, yeah, that's true. <laughs> the fucking mystery show doesn't count in the timeline. <laughs> All right, Drew finally tagged CJ. Now this is, this could be really good because here's the thing, CJ was, well, was fresh and then it gets caught in a big belly to belly. Oh, but CJ's not gonna take that shit from Bugrip. Oh shit. I'll tell you, CJ, CJ's a bit of a fool. Oh, oh shit. God damn. Drigo catching fucking CJ by the goddamn throw and just fucking pulling him just to hit full force on the goddamn rope. Holy shit, dude. Now, Bugrip looking to punish CJ. Honestly, I don't blame Bugrip because, hell, I mean, technically, <laughs> CJ's the one that went for the pin. CJ's the one that stopped the reign of menace. Oh, shit, big shoulder tackle. Drew was begging for the pin, but CJ couldn't get it. Rodrigo stopping him with pure offense. Oh, comes in with a leg sweep. Now looking to damage the arm, and now CJ gets the pin. Drew's back in. Rodrigo getting the advantage again. Getting Drew into the corner and bust him open. Head first on that turnbuckle. Oh, and Drew coming in with his own shoulder tackle. Holy shit. Drew Jeffrey getting him up and oh, big maneuver right there from Drew Jeffrey. I also want to point out this is something new with us too. I think now we're probably going to see the blood shit now. Oh, Jordy, what's Rodrigo going for here? Oh shit! A drop suplex onto the apron. Holy shit! Yeah, I know right now it looks like Drew is trying to come back at it. Trying to get the upper hand against Rodrigo. Also want to point out, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. The announce table is not in the arena. Where is it at? Good question. What the fuck? Did Drew just flick the shit? Did he just flick off Bugrip? Oh, oh! I believe that was... Uh, actually, I don't know. Do we have a name for that one? <laughs> Drew, do we have a name for that one? I don't remember it. <laughs> Oh, Drew looking to put it up. Oh, there's a sexy kick. Here's one, two, no. Rodrigo kicks out of the sexy kick. Holy shit. And the crowd chanting, tag team wrestling. Wait, so it goes operation. The one that happened on 18, then the mixer days. Now the YouTube era. If you want to add the Miz tribute show. God damn it. Technically, it started with... YouTube won, they went bankrupt, which means it didn't happen again. Then Mixer era. Twitch era, which didn't do shit. Oh shit, Bugrip getting CJ up for an unforgettable on the outside. Holy shit. Oh, he's out. He is out right now. Goes with a pin. One. No, doesn't get it. Now proceeds to punch the living shit out of Drew. Holy crap. The undashing. Gotcha. I was trying to remember what it was. I didn't want to say uh, the unprettier because I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> All right, Drew now trying to get Rodrigo into the corner. Rodrigo not going to take it. Not going to try giving the Jeffries an upper hand. Rodrigo realizing they already got the upper hand right now. 
Oh, Rodrigo. I think it was too busy. Basky in his glory. Didn't see the hot tag. Oh, but not letting GJ take advantage. I fucked up my words there. Now Rodrigo coming in with a ripcord clothesline. Taking Drew out. CJ now. The only man up. The question is, what's CJ going to do? I think Rodrigo was little days trying to <laughs> contemplate where he's at right now. Drew slowly backed away from the dra drag. Wait, what? Dragon to the dashing. He's a dashing dragon. What do you mean? <laughs> and the Jeffries looking to take the fight to menace. Rodrigo rolling. Drew back in. Looking to decimate Drew Jeffrey even more. Or not. Oh, CJ. Oh, getting him up. And. Oh, shit. CJ now setting up for possibly. Oh. Oh, I think he was trying to go for a poetic justice there. Didn't get it. Now sends into the ropes. Oh, spear from Rodrigo. Is that it? One, no, Drew saves it. Oh, but now Rodrigo tags in. Bew grip. What's he gonna go for? Oh, Bugrip was trying to go for the Bugrip CD though, catching it! Oh my god, that was actually terrifying for a minute. I thought we were gonna see the end of the Jeffries. All right, Drew, standing Bugrip over the top rope and CJ on the outside already ready. Oh, what's this? Oh, CJ, oh, with a cheap shot to the back of the head of Bugrip. And now Drew takes out Rodrigo. Oh, shit, god damn. Holy shit, big maneuver right there from Drew and saying that's it. Say that's it, but he's the focus back in the match. He needs to get back in it. He needs to get back in it. Uh oh. Bugram now taking advantage and gets him with a stick eyes into the corner. Now the question is, what is Rodrigo and Bugram gonna do here? Goes in with a tag. It was in with a oh kick to the gut. Now Drew oh, well, Drew goes trying to take advantage. Drew though not allowing it. Now comes in with a big punch. Goes in for another on oh, dashing. Oh shit! It was so bad that we lagged. <laughs> Is that it? No. Puga was there to save Rodrigo, and Rodrigo now rolls out. Drew, I think contemplating now what to do here. He lost the dragon part though. He's now just the dashing Drew Jeffries. I'm still calling him the what's it called? Uh oh, oh, oh shit! No, not on the outside! Not on the outside! Lava Lance on the outside! Now Rodrigo, walkie talking shit to CJ goes in with a punch and now proceeds the takeout. CJ Jeffries and Drew's now powerless in the middle of the ring. Oh, big clothesline. Can Drew hold off? Can he hold off the assault? That's the question. Drew going in. Go with another sexy kick. Is that it? One, two, three. And Drew Jeffries beats Menace. Oh, wait, what's this? Wait, what's going on with the Syndicate? The Syndicate are attacking the Tag Team Champions right now. <gasps> Satoshi and the Kid standing tall. Holy shit. Well, fuck me. <laughs> that was actually a lot cooler than I expected. <laughs> Because we never done like an actual like rivalry selection for tag teams, so that was actually really fucking cool to see. <laughs>
<laughs> Holy shit. The kid and Satoshi now standing tall of not just the Jeffries, but of Menace as well. And now holding the tag team titles up high. Well, shit. The question, man, I don't know what's going to happen at Bond with that thing. The only thing that we got to wonder now is who's going to be that final team. Because as far as I know, when I asked the Wolfpack, they didn't give me a yes, but they also didn't give me a no. So I don't know who's going to be in that. I don't know. I don't know if that's it or not. I'm just confused at this point. So, I, I don't know. So with that said, uh, going on to the next match, ladies and gentlemen, uh, again, another rest in peace to Jacob Just a Wildfire. The reason we say that is because his sister has been um num 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 um, um. good question <laughs> when, asked, when we asked her about it she was wearing the mask so we really really couldn't even tell how she feels about her brother being you know gone um so i don't know uh the only thing she asked was for a match like no emotion no nothing she just said match and left out the fucking room I, I genuinely don't know how she feels. So that 2K added that debuff, that match was... Honestly, yes, because that match was a lot quicker. That match was so much quicker. Oh my god, it was so much quicker. But with that said, um... Yeah, we don't know what's going on with Blackfire, but apparently she wants a match here tonight, so we gave her a match, but when we, she, we asked who she wanted to fight, so, uh, in this case, it's more of an open challenge to the small uh, women's division that we have right now. It will be growing a little bit more later in the coming days. But with that said, uh, right now, Alice Blackfire will be hosting an open challenge here tonight on PXT. Oh, wait, what the fuck? Wait, who's this? Oh, wait, what is going on? Wait, what's well fire doing? Oh! Oh, hello! Actually, okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. I think that's a new animation. <laughs> oh wow! Okay, I think that's actually a new animation. I, I don't know who this is though. Who is this? Someone answered the call. I don't know who this is. Do we got word? She just, she literally just jumped the barricade apparently. She heard open challenge, she jumped the barricade and she's now fighting Alice Blackfire. I'm getting word that she, her name is Maggie Anderson and she, wait, what? Wait, what? Mox? What do you, wait, what do you, wait, hold on, wait a minute, hold on, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting word that the female right now that is facing off against Alice Blackfire is Maggie Anderson, the sister of Mox. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, I'm, well, apparently we have a new signee in PXC, I guess. <laughs> Even though we haven't given her a contract, but I said open challenge, so everybody comes in for it. Oh shit, but Blackfire, not, oh, gonna take any light blows on new up and comer. Goes for the pin, Maggie does one, two. Oh, only gets a two count. Maggie Anderson, man, I gotta say, she's fucking built, dude. Holy shit. Big DDT, yeah, no, Alice Blackfire, I believe was trying to play some mind games there. And now, what is going on here? Oh, apparently comes in with, uh, well, I'm going to call it, that's a sexy kick. I guess she is a big fan of Drew Jeffrey. Drew, go. It's the beacon. Drew, it's your shot, man. She likes you. She used your move. She likes you. It's your time. You got one that likes you, apparently. Drew, slide in. No, I'm joking. <laughs> oh, shit. Wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> now you know what I'm saying. Go in. <laughs> okay, toss up. And now Maggie. Oh, Maggie was trying to go in for some big shots there, but doesn't get it. 
Blackfire coming in, and I uh, just get again. Okay, yeah, we gotta talk about this move. So I forgot we had to talk about that. One, two. Apparently, uh, Blackfire. God damn. Well, hold on. Wait a minute. Now it might be a fight between her and Slade. Go oh, shit. This is a top rope moonsault. That or she's just continuing to play the mind games. Because honestly, Blackfire is... Uh, she's, she's a bit of an oddity. Not going to lie. One. Because we really don't have anything about her. Besides that she's the sister of Jacob Twisted Wildfire. That is literally all we got. Looking for that. And oh, shit. Big gut shot. And oh. Mag I think Maggie was trying to go for something, but Fire gets up, and now Maggie, oh shit! I don't know what the hell that's called, but goddamn, it looks like it was enough to take out Blackfire, is it? No! Blackfire kicks out! And the crowd chanting at women's wrestling because they know we need more women in this bitch. <laughs> it's a fucking sausage fest. Maggie getting Blackfire. Buckle now comes in with a shot straight to the spine of Alice. Getting her up. And now all oh, comes in with a leg sweep. Blackfire trying to capitalize, trying to come back at it. Now looking to target the arm of Maggie Anderson. Now, only thing we gotta do is find Mox and be like, Mox, what the hell do your family eat? Oh! Oh shit! Oh shit! Maggie's not pulling any of the punches! God damn, look at that shit! Oh, Blackfire finally coming in with something. That is, my god, dude, that's the first time we see someone actually just not be able to totally almost a punch in that old sequence. Anderson singing a fight to Blackfire, dude. Holy shit! Anderson, same black rider ropes, and now comes in with a death press, and comes in with a pier! Onslaught straight to the face! Holy shit, dude! Comes in with a pin, one, two, three! Yeah, that was enough! God damn, dude! She just, she literally jumped the barricade. We don't got anything for her. We, she just jumped the barricade. She's as crazy as her brother. Anderson fucking demolishing Alice Blackfire. But now question is, was it because Blackfire was prepared or did Jimenez popping up behind her fucking took out everything? That Blackfire was playing to do. I don't know. Holy shit, though. <laughs> God damn, dude. She fucking buried him. God damn. Holy fuck. Get the medic. <laughs> Get the medic, dude. Was that a finisher, by the way? Hold on, wait. We gotta, we gotta ask here. <laughs> I'm gonna break fourth wall. I just wanna ask. Was, was that a finisher, by any chance? Like a sick? Because, holy mother. <laughs> God damn. That, that was that's the first time I see a Des press actually like full on knock someone out. <laughs> At least CPU wise. CPU wise first time we've seen that. Alright, but now it's on to our next match, which is the match that happened because of the servers. The King of a Mountain. Carlos Hernandez. I had to pause there because I keep on saying Mendez because of what's the name. Carlos Hernandez challenged. An even bigger horizon, Smooth Marino, to a one-on-one -on -one match. Smooth saying he's gonna put the Mountain King on the shelf. Guess we're about to find out, ladies and gents. So right now, ladies and gentlemen, it is a one-on-one -on -one match. It is Carlos Hernandez versus Smooth Marino. Nah, sick. Really? Damn. Dude, she, she fucked up. <laughs> she fucked her up, dude. She fucked her up. Like, hell, even with the training blows, man. Future, future PXC Women's Champion? 
Well, I guess we'll have to wait and see, but uh, all right now, Jimenez already showing she's a <laughs> dominating champion. I gotta hit the button. Boop. There we go. It is, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I won't lie, I think that is a new animation because it's. I picked the. Oh no, I probably chose the wrong one because I know there's like two different ones, so I probably chose the other one. But either way, it was actually. It actually fit well with Maggie being as crazy as her brother. <laughs> there he is. The king of the mountain. Carlos Hernandez. Now, Carlos has yet to pick up a big victory here at BXT. He debuted an operation, couldn't put down Shane Henry. Then he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Satoshi, couldn't put down Satoshi. Then he went toe -to -toe with Hell Itself Devil, couldn't put down Devil. Could tonight be the kick-starting of his career? Could it be the catalyst that sets him over the moon here in PXT? I guess we're gonna wait and find out. Because right now he's going against, hell, oh, possibly a new, a new force here in PXT. Carlos wants challenging matches, but here's the thing, his opponent here tonight, The opponent here tonight, Smooth, isn't here for matches. He's here to drop people. He's here to put them on shelves. He's here to take them the fuck out of here. I hope she doesn't stalk my Instagram and my TikTok. She probably does. Maybe. Oh, well, Spice Talks you and Slade, because uh, that, that was a lot of roads of redemptions. Slade, first it was Ava, now it's Alice. <laughs> Smooth Marino went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the White Viper at Operation. And was able to make the White Viper tap out, not even to his own finishing submission hold, no to a damn pressure hold. Strong enough to take down C. Jill. And with that alone, I mean, hell. <laughs> Does anyone stand a chance? Cause shit, we thought C. Jill, it would take everything to put, make that man tap out. Smooth show that it's an easy task. Oh, both men going straight away each other, but Carlos getting the better of the exchange. But Smooth not allowing him to capitalize. Oh, looking to get him up and just toss him down! And now proceed to stop away on Hernandez. And God damn it, practically dead lifts him up for a big running power slam! Oh, and Hernandez come back out of there. Hernandez, oh, coming up with a springboard! Stunner right there! And all right now, honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm really not gonna lie to y'all. I am uh, very, very excited to see how this goes. Right now, Smooth taunting away on the sp supposed king of the mountain, putting his foot on his back, standing tall, and Smooth now going to the top. Oh shit, big shoulder tackle from the top to the outside. And now Smooth continuing the offense, but this time working on the legs of Hernandez. Oh, there it is. Now Hernandez looking to get out of Smooth's hold, or Smooth's hold on the advantage here. Now to the submission hold. Let me get you right. <laughs> oh, shit. God damn. Dude, I want to tell you right now, Smooth, ever since Operation, has been coming out being a damn menace. Him taking down... C. Jill has skyrocketed him being a goddamn force here at PXT. Oh! I think Carlos was trying to go. I think he was trying to go for a spear. I'm not sure. Not smooth going for her. Smooth. 
Looking. Oh, looking to make the king tap out here tonight. As triangle hold on him. What? Oh, Kunadas looking to get out of it. Oh, shit. God, da God damn. That was a big fucking drop kick. That's smooth rolling. Even rolling outside the ring. But Hernandez going for home. Oh. Honestly, it looked like he hesitated when he got on the ropes. And I think it was enough time for Smooth to get the advantage. Oh, misses the big, I guess, belly. Belly flop? I don't know what happened there. Kind of want to see the King win. I'm 50-50. Because honestly, it, it helps either or. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. King of the Mountain <laughs> was busted over for blood. He wants blood back. It's blood for blood at this point. Smooth sending Carlos back in. Both men busted open. Oh, God, God damn. Dude, why does the drop kick, kick seem like they hurt so much? Oh, my God. Smooth going for a pin on Carlos. No, Carlos kicks out. Nick Smooth's now getting frustrated, trying to think of what he needs to do to put down the king. Carlos, I'm gonna be honest with you, giving Smooth a fight, a big ass fight right now. Ah, oh, but working on the arm of Smooth. Not a bad call. Oh, but now, all oh, goes in for submission hold of his own, but Smooth, being a former MMA fighter, knows how to get out of it with ease. And Hernandez into the corner. Oh, he's going for a drop kick. King of the Mountain's not going to stand for that. Neither Smooth. Smooth getting Hernandez up. But again, Hernandez getting out of it. Not allowing Smooth to get the upper hand. Oh. Oh, pedigree right there. Is that enough to put down Smooth Marino? It is. One. Two. No. Smooth kicks out. God damn, hey, I gotta get proud. Like I said, they're actually giving a good fucking fight right now. <laughs> oh, big DDT right there. And now this right now has the upper hand. And now goes in for, oh, stroke 77. Is that it? One, two, no. Smooth, smooth kicked out of it. Holy shit. <laughs> Smooth's not going down with a fucking ease, man. He's wanting Carlos to take it, take it 110%. Oh shit, rolling cannonball to the corner. Smooth though, rolling out. Carlos getting the advantage, sends him. There now. Oh. Oh, was trying to go with something there. Didn't get it. Smooth now, looking to capitalize. Has him on the rope. Oh wait, what's smooth? Wait, what's smooth doing? What the fuck? Smooth just exposed the turnbuckle. Why? Uh oh, goes in for an assisted power bomb. Now proceeds to stop away on Carlos. I think Smooth's now getting a little pissed off that Carlos isn't going down. Both men are going down at this point. I like that. I want what? Give me that now, Hunter. We want first blood match. I feel like that'd be too easy. <laughs> it's like a knockout match. It'd be too. Oh my! Oh! Oh shit! Oh god, is he okay? It looked like his head hit the fucking edge of the goddamn barricade. Holy shit! Is he okay? Smooth showing that he doesn't give a fuck, but sees the offense. <laughs> On Hernandez, oh my god! Honestly, I... Oh. My little doesn't get it. Smooth though. Oh, the ref! Oh, Smooth tries to take advantage of the exposed turnbuckle, but now it looks like... Oh shit! Doesn't get it. And now, oh, god damn. Probably snaps the neck of Smooth. Is that it, though? No. Is that enough to put Smooth out? No, Smooth! Still! <laughs> what the fuck, dude? God damn, this, right now, match of the night. Oh, shit, big outside dive! And the king of the mountain stands tall! Holy 
Holy shit. Oh shit, a foot DDT. Looking just to punish Smooth as much as possible. Both men, hell, I'm gonna be honest, they're giving one hell of a fight here tonight. Oh shit. Big DDT again on the outside. That's what busted open Smooth. It looks like it busted him open even more because now blood spilling from Smooth big time. Carlos looking to start his first page here in PXC. Oh, big maneuver. Can he capitalize? Can he put down Moreno? That's away, but Smooth again rolls out to the outside. Oh. Now goes in for another pedigree! Is that it? And Carlos. Oh, Carl Carlos, I want to do this now and go for that pin and end this shit. Oh. And it looks like he's going for King Sonic! That's the final now of the coffin! One, two, three! Carlos puts down Smooth! Oh my god! Oh wait, oh! Lights going out, what's going on? Devil! Wait, what the fuck? Oh, it looks like Devil is it done with Carlos! Devil's not done with Carlos, apparently. But well, holy shit, dude, they gave like a fucking good. How many? Oh, wait, does it show stars? Does it show like the actual stars and shit or no? Oh, dude, that sucks. Come on. That would have been so good. Oh, that sucks. It doesn't show stars no more. Damn it! That should have been like a five star match. That was such a good match, dude. Holy shit. That was so good. Right now, that, that's at least with 2K24, my favorite match. <laughs> the second would be uh, fucking uh, the ambulance match because that one was just so poetic as well. <laughs> Damn. Beautiful match. Beautiful fucking match. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, we gotta continue. <laughs> I want G7 versus Carlos, so G7 can become the King Slayer. <laughs> that would be cool. But it looks like uh, Carlos is now going to fight not just his demons, he's going to fight his devils. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, uh, last week G7 went toe to toe against Jack Daniels, and uh, well, yeah, he came up fucking short, like big fucking time. Like holy fuck, he like Jack Daniels fucking body the man. So G7 wanted to prove that. That was a fluke. So he asked for another one-on-one -on -one match against Jack Daniels here tonight. And ladies and gentlemen, that is what we are giving him. That's right. So tonight, it is the YouTube champion, G7, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Jack Daniels. That was a good match. Honestly, I'm not lying to y'all. That was match of the night. <laughs> right now, that was fucking match of the night. G7 coming out. Oh, wait, man. It's the number one contender for the YouTube title. It's Venom attacking G7. And the rest trying to tell him to get the fuck out of there, but it looks like... Wait, is G7 going to continue? It looks like G7. Though was looking to continue his... Little feud here with Daniels. Venom... I guess getting upset that he's not being the main sense of focus right now. She said he's not gonna have it though. Oh, goes under. And now gets him with a big spine buster! Oh, look like G7 now taking advantage. Oh shit, big power bomb right there. The beer slayer. Would he be the beer slayer? <laughs> I was gonna say he'd be the bartender slayer of anything. Alright, but right now, so I was looking away for one moment. Right now, G7, my god, right now, G7. Sure, the last streak was practically nothing. Gets attack from Venom, if anything, it pumped the adrenaline in G7 at this point, because goddamn, he's giving a fucking fight to Daniels, goddamn! Not gonna face it, it looks like G7's now just pissed off! Oh, 
and continues the onslaught. I'm assuming G7 is just pissed off in general. And now continues the onslaught to Jack Daniels in general. He said in general like five times. I know, Brain. Shut up. Oh, God, God damn. <laughs> he was on the barricade. He just hit the goddamn drop kick. Holy shit. G7 just punishing Daniels at this point. Dude. G7 going for the pin. Is that enough to put Daniels out of commission? One, two, no, Daniels kicks out. I'm gonna leave the area. I don't want Blackfire to follow me. <laughs> oh, Daniels going to the corner. It looks like G7's not holding back. God damn, dude. G7's really not holding anything back. He's like, dude, Daniels hasn't done sh almost practically dog shit since the beginning of this match. He hit one move. G7's been nothing but control. And now he's telling Daniels to give him the fight finally. And Daniels listening to it. Oh, damages the knee. We're gonna damage the knee there. Now continues the full on assault. Now coming in. That was a that was a cork bottle. That's what that was. Oh shit! Big knee shots right there. And Daniels. <laughs> Daniels now giving G7 the fight. G7 was asking for him to give him a fight, and now G7 is getting what he wanted. He's getting what he asked for at this point. G7 now ripping the arm, dropping Daniels down. Uh oh, those are more future shock. Is that not? No, he doesn't even go for the pin. You know, he's saying fuck that. Now going in for oh, King Slayer. Is that enough? One, two. Oh, Daniels kicks out. Gotta fly back to California. Oh, no, please make sure she stays. I can't. I, I don't even know where she's at right now. She disappeared. Well, the crowd's chanting for them to fight forever. I'm assuming everyone's behind Daniels now. Because holy shit, <laughs> they're shocked that he kicked out of the King Slayer. Seven calling a shot, gets him up, and now comes in with a big chop straight to the forehead of Daniels. Oh, big clothesline from G7. It was a battle of clotheslines. Whoever hit first, G7 winning the exchange. But now Daniels looking to capitalize, looking to come back in this match. Sends G7 to the ropes. Goes under. Goes over. Oh, gets him with a big punch. God damn, that was sick. One. Two! No! G7 kicks out! Good dude, that was a sick ass sequence though. Oh, gets it with a big boot straight to the face. And now. What's Daniels going for here? Daniels getting him up. Now goes for a final shot! It is! One! Two! No! G7 kicks out! I'm Cook Chat. Nobody can find her. She disappeared, man. My God, Daniels. Oh, it comes in with the oh springboard moonsault. But now G7 taking advantage of the misstep. And now proceeds to stomp away on Daniels. God damn. Oh, super kicks are better. Yeah, it was. <laughs> That's a moment that will never be replicated, and I'm so upset by that. <laughs> If it does, it'd be so cool. You seven looking to slay the bartender, possibly. In this case, with a future shock, is that enough to put Daniels out? One, two, three. G7 picks up the win against Daniels. G7's Batman at this point. He needs, he needs a round two to always win. And no, I'm a big Batman fan, but I, I can call it out. That's what he, that's what normally happens. G7 with a big win against Daniels. Uh, maybe big win because he did get bodied by Daniels uh, last week. But now, he has to worry about Venom on his back. Because Venom's now going to be coming in. Possibly anywhere. Her, you can attack him again later tonight. Who knows? Alright guys, we are down to our last four matches of the night, and up next is now...
Pixie Hardcore Match. That's right. Now, no, I want to point this out because uh, I was going to do this. I was going to sing Happy Birthday during Shane's entrance. I don't know. I can't promise that for everybody. <laughs> I'm going to try to do that for everybody. Everybody tells me where their birthdays are. <laughs> so let me know, like, you know, they prior of. Or if it happens on, like, a Monday, let me know. <laughs> All right. Well, with that said, right up next, it is Shane Henry, who has been calling himself the hardcore icon of PXT. <laughs> Looking to cement that title now by becoming the PXT Hardcore Champion, but he has to face off against Bill Cassidy. Bring it forth, Wall. Shane, you have to kill what you created. You have to kill your own monster. Oh, we, can try, we can try doing a community stream. We can do your birthday thing there. So, yeah. Shane must now kill the monster he created. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is for one fall, and it is a hardcore match for the Pixie Hardcore Championship! Damn, I could be a ring announcer. Like an actual, like, you know, guy that calls him out. I just gotta remember, like, weights and shit. Whenever the next uh, big show is, I want the King of the Mountain and Man to match. match. Well, you gotta wait on that! <laughs> Mainly because it looks like Devil wants uh, Hernandez, so I guess we have to now see what happens with that one. <laughs> but who knows, Smooth? You might be... Because next week's going to be a lot of random matches. <laughs> you might be one of the uh, tag teams fighting for a spot in the Bond match for the PXT title opportunity. Say this with a lot of people. No, we're doing the Abyss track with it, so it could be a lot of people. Not promising anything, not promising anybody any spots. It's all randomized. We're doing abyss rules with it. So we're going to see which teams are going to be formed next week. Shane Henry. Mike, do he makes that title look like it's small. What the fuck? <laughs> he makes it look like a bracelet. He makes it look like a fucking bracelet! My god, why does it look so tiny? The title looks so small! <laughs> it looks so small on him! Oh, I forgot to do the happy birthday shit, I was too busy reading chat. If, you know what? If he wins, we'll do win or loss. We'll do happy birthday. Cause either way, Shane, it's a win-win for him in this case. <laughs> and that's what's for the PXT World Hardcore Heavyweight Wrestling Champion. PXT after operation. Technically two weeks after operation, but yeah. Introducing first the birthday boy himself. The self-acclaimed hardcore icon, Shane Henry! And his opponent, he is a member of the Syndicate and the PXC World Hardcore Heavyweight Wrestling Champion, Bill Cassidy! Now, no, ladies and gents, we are either going to be watching a miracle or a murder happen here tonight. But either way, it will end like this. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Shane Hendry. You might fucking die now. <laughs> Oh, Shane coming in with a big drop kick. Doesn't do nothing. Catch. Oh my god! He just sent him flying. Holy shit, dude! He just sent Shane fucking flying after not doing anything for the drop kick. That was beautiful. Holy shit, though. We might be seeing a murder. No. Wait, I had the tag titles for two weeks. My longest title. <laughs> yes. Oh shit. 
God damn, dude. Ca Cassidy's scary, man. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Cassidy's fucking scary. And now giving him weapons? <laughs> giving the man weapons? Oh, shit! Shave, though! <laughs> Not holy back. Going here with a rolling elbow. Dropping him. My god, dude, the size difference. The fucking size difference, man. Holy shit. Oh god. Oh god, no, Cassidy. Oh god! I don't want Shane to win. Can't mention what in promo chat. And yes, I want Shane to win. I was gonna say, if T wins technicality. <laughs> Maybe. I understand there was a little ruckus in the back on one of our uh, travel tours that we were doing. And apparently Shane uh, attacked Drew. Maybe that's that's what pushed Drew to the limit to pick up the win. Oh my God, dude, Cassidy's trying to get weapons. And it looks like Shane's trying to get an equalizer. <laughs> he threw it, he threw it, it happened. I saw it, they threw it. Oh, they threw it again. I'm so, I'm so happy to be around during this time of my life. Go oh, shit. Bigfoot DDT right now. Shane, finally getting the upper hand on the fucking mountain of a man that's Bill Cassidy. And thinking smart, attacking the leg. Because here's the thing, you take out the leg of a giant. Takes away all their big moves. Especially the likes of Bill Cassidy. Cassidy's just waiting for Shane. Oh my god, it's terrifying. Cassidy gets him up and drops him off. Bucket face first onto, over the top rope and comes in with a big elbow to straight to the chest of Shane Henry. Cassidy, hang Shane up. Oops, sends it on the ropes. But now, oh, Shane was trying to go for a clothesline, but Cassidy just, oh my god, again, just sends Shane flying. This is a pure power difference right now. I'm sorry to say, but it is a pure power difference. Cassidy is just destroying Shane Henry at this point. Holy shit, and drops him for a snake eyes into the corner. Uh oh, was looking to probably continue the offense with a big boom, but no, Shane coming back. Sends him sweeping. Dang on for him. Oh, double drop kick, basement drop kick to Cassidy. But he still gets up. What the fuck? <laughs> Fucking had to use the bag. Oh, it is. Coming in with a consecutive clotheslines here. And it's enough to put him down. It's enough putting the man down. Goes for the pin. One, two, doesn't get it. If he is Jin together on team, it's over. Hey, that's hey, that's if it's gonna happen. Because here's the other thing: next week, Jin has to defend the title. So that's why I'm still debating on if the hardcore and TikTok champions will be in this uh, bond match. Still debating. There's still a shot, but debating. Oh God! Well, uh, they know that's good. The candlestick enough to take out Cassidy. That means he's weakening the man. Goes to the pin one. Oh God! He only got a one, dude. He only got a one. He only got a one. Oh shit! I again, I do not know what to call that move, but it's a pretty sick ass move. Jay now looking to continue the offense on Cassidy. It's enough. And Ka oh my, Cassidy just stood there and took it. He fell. So there's a guy that comes in with a whole oh, springboard moonsault. This could be Shane's moment. Coming in for the curtain call. Looking to put down. Oh, Cassidy caught it. Oh, gets another big punch. Oh, lift up. Oh, my God. My God. Everyone's going for Shane at this point. Honestly, I don't blame him because it's it's literally fucking Adam versus Goliath, dude. Oh, Shane apparently wants to trade blows with the giant. Oh, Shane, bust open Cassidy. Can Shane win the exchange here? Who's gonna win this, Cassidy? I want to point out, oh, Shane messed up because he busts open Cassidy. You don't bust open Cassidy. It makes it worse for you. It makes it worse. 
Oh, but who knows? It might have dazed Cassidy a little bit. He went to the outside, didn't do nothing. Oh, drop kick gets him. Okay, okay. The Scooby Shane shot. Sco Shane goes to the outside. What's he going for, though? Oh, picks up the sledgehammer. Goes in with an equalizer. Oh! Gets him in the gut with the sledgehammer. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Continues the assault with a sledgehammer. Trying to shove it up Cassidy's ass. Oh, god damn. That was the move of the injured Mercado. <laughs> Cassidy's so big, it just hit his fucking spine. Uh oh. Chain calling a shot. Looking to put down. Ca oh! Ooh! Spine hitting the middle point of the fucking table. One. Well, he gets a one count from it, though. Ah, shit. That's yeah, going for shit. Oh, my God. One, two, Shane kicks out of that. Oh my God, that was a big ass punch. It, it just knocked Shane down, dude. Shane's refusing to give up here. He wants to be a hardcore champion. But he has to go through the likes of Cassidy. All goes up, I think he was setting up for Timber. Shane though. Oh, comes up with a springboard forearm. Dang, looking to capitalize, Shane, looking. Oh, comes in with another set of consecutive clotheslines. And three consecutive clotheslines back to back. Now, looking to connect this time with the curtain call. Gets it, is that it? One. Two! No! Oh my god! Cassidy kicked out! Cassidy kicked out! Jane's paying no mind. He says, fuck it. He's doing more damage to the mountain of a man. Oh, oh my god! Leg drop catching Shane on the back of his fucking head! Oh, this is the punch. Shane now coming in with shots of his own. Looking to drop Cassidy as much as possible! Cassidy's down. Cassidy in the corner. Shane. Oh, finally able to drop the man with a drop kick. God damn, just throws the trash can straight up on top of Cassidy. I think he's finally getting tired of it. And now, looking for one more curtain call. Can Shane do it? Yes, he can. Is that it? New hardcore champ. One, two. Three! Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this match and new PXT Hardcore Champion, Shane Henry! That was, that was such a good match. <laughs> that was actually such a good match. <laughs> Holy shit, that was fucking awesome, dude. That was actually really fucking cool. Oh, that was such a fucking beautiful match. Holy shit. Well, congratulations, Shane Henry. He is the new PXC World Hardcore Heavyweight Wrestling Champion. No, that's why it says the title, so that's, that's why I keep saying that. God damn, again, one last time. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Shane Henry. Somehow you killed Cassidy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Happy birthday, Mary. Happy birthday to me. Me, baby. <laughs> he said birthday twice. Happy birthday, birthday to me, baby. <laughs> man, that was that was fucking awesome. That was actually a really good match. So far, two matches of the night. Shane Henry against Cassidy and Carlos Hernandez and Smooth. But you know Satoshi, he's he is not gonna be happy with Cassidy. Oh. So. Now, with that said, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have mentioned this before that Adonis has refused to take the number one contendership shot against the Mason, mainly because he he is Mr. Bankrupt right now, which means he has a guaranteed shot anytime he wants. So he's literally refused to take the shot. That's why we're having a number one contendership match as our main event tonight. For some reason, he's looking to put his attention on Michael Slade, because I believe last week, 
If I remember correctly, Adonis attacks Slade. We're on this. Because <laughs> I don't remember exactly what happened last week. Last week's a very forgettable episode for me. <laughs> All I remember, Miz. That was it. <laughs> but Michael Slade uh, apparently now has a target on his back from Adonis. So now the question is, will that continue here tonight? Or will Michael Slade just have a good open challenge here? Because Slade lost a lot. Also, why is it blue? <laughs> I can't show it because it's a surprise, but why is it blue? Either way, uh, Slade lost a lot with this, with uh, not just MTW, but with a certain person leaving uh, PXT. Um, he lost the tag team goal. He lost the IC championship. He, he lost so much because of the stuff that happened with MTW. To where he's trying to keep his shit straight focused and trying to prove every doubter wrong, including the likes of Electro. Because Electro's the one that really got in his head about being handed this title, handed this, handed this, handed everything. But now, Dan Slate come back at it. I guess we'll find out because tonight he is issuing an open challenge to anyone that thinks they can take him on and put him out. Now, I do, I do continue saying this. Slade has been a fucking force, not just in PXC, but in other, anywhere he has gone. So far with PXC, he's struggled to kick off a little bit. Uh, his best, or I guess former best friend, since it seems like both men are now coming in with their own hostility towards each other now. What is wrong with you? Why are you blue? Walter White. <laughs> that threw me off. I lost all train of thought just for that one comment. <laughs> oh man. I don't know why that would fuck me up. That would fuck me up for some reason. <laughs> God damn, that lady was excited. She was excited just as Ava was. Party still is about Slade, but now Ava might want to be looking to tell Blackfire to back fuck off since she was using his roads of redemption consecutively. That's how many rounds she wants. I'm gonna see. I make Drew and the. Da -da -da. I can just make it an original instead of like making them related. The reason I say that is because uh, it seems like we're now turning into a family wrestling show. <laughs> to where like everyone's related to each other. <laughs> There's semi factions. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I played into that shit too. But. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Bad Bunny. What the fuck is this? Holy shit, there's no fucking way! That's Justin?! God damn it, I hate it. Cause here's the thing, he fucking looks like him. That's like some stupid shit he would fucking do too. <laughs> oh my god, where did he get jacked?! I get that like three weeks ago, he... God damn, has he just been living at the gym for three weeks? He swole the fuck up, holy god! Justin coming in! God damn, this is a. Uh, you guys you guys know the whole like swole. swole the whole like. <laughs> the shame of shit? That's what we just saw right now, but in this case he's fit as fuck, what the hell? Smoking clean. Now, I also want to point out uh, this this was created by my brother, so this is all his uh, choices and everything. Uh, I just realized this is Rocky's big brother and my big brother fighting. <laughs> I just realized that. <laughs> not not Rocky Mercado. We're going based on like what the characters are based off of. That's what we're going by. We're not going by actual story wise. Oh my god. <laughs> 
Why is he so fucking swole? I generally don't know why he's so fucking swole. Slade, oh. I think Slade probably thinking this might be an easy shot because not thinking Justin probably come up with the new style, but hell. Justin, at least. Huh? What the fuck? What the fuck? The impact was Slade's chest is so strong. Justin bounced off. Just Moose. Yeah, at this point. <laughs> oh, Justin. I wasn't actually giving a fight to Slade. Honestly, I think this is the fr this might be the most like fit I think I've ever seen Justin in his career. He's usually a small build, so that's why I'm very, very surprised on how much work he put in. Cause holy fuck, dude! God damn, man was practically living at the gym. Holy shit! And not just that, he's actually giving a fight straight to Slade. He's Super Slade, the man with the chest of steel. At this point, yeah. <laughs> he can survive multiple chops to the chest and not be wounded at all. Oh shit. They get him up. Oh god. Drops Justin back first onto the apron. Holy shit. Hardest part of the ring, especially with the LED there as well. Gets it back in. Now can Justin come back this year? Oh, PXC, a little bit stronger. No, gets caught on Rose of Redemption. Is that it? Oh, no. Oh, no, Slade's not done. Slade's not done. Slade's not done. Oh, Stead sets him up for Oh! That was Rose of Verdict. No, I'm joking. Oh, shit. <laughs> That zoom in did not help Slade. <laughs> just the, oh. <laughs> it was, that was just a little funny looking. Oh shit, oh shit. Justin just caught Slade, holy crap, from top rope too. Justin said, bitch, I'm top roping, motherfucker, not you. Hi. Finally connects with the fucking splash in the corner. Oh, it's Justin going for here. Justin going for Oh, big elbow straight to the chest of Slade. Uh oh. I think Justin was trying to set up Slade for something. Slade, though, not going to have it. Slade, come back at it. Sends Justin to the ropes. Goes under. Goes over. And now. Oh, sends it with a big power slam. I get props. Justin's actually giving more of a fight than what he normally used to. Justin's showing that he he took what happened last year very to heart, and he's going to town with it. And now, oh shit! The ref in the way. Big fucking moonsault from Slade to Justin. No, Justin's not done. Holy shit! I've only seen Justin go this far against his own brother at Rush. To where everyone was thinking Justin was going to pick up the win. But sadly fell short. Could we be seeing a repeat here tonight against Slade? Oh, shit. Throw Slade into the still steps. Justin comes back in. It looks like Justin's saying, get back in, bitch. He's telling get back in. Slade not, not taking those as fighting words. Oh, but Justin using it as mind games. Man, just stalking Slade, if you will. Oh shit, oh! No way, why? Oh! He was known as a legendary high flyer in WWE! Slade rolling out. Are they coming back at it? Oh, gets him! Oh, Justin! Abdominable stretch, and now Slade! Punching away! Trying to get out of it! Oh shit, sends Justin rolling. Okay, just it up for oh god just tosses him down. Holy shit Slade just toss, fucking stalking the man. Holy shit. Oh big punch from Justin Was Justin going for it. Justin was trying to get him into that corner. Ozzy, I don't know why he didn't do the other corner Slade going in with the oh disaster kick straight to Justin 
And I gotta get that. I gotta point out though, Justin's giving one hell of a fight against Michael Slade. Oh shit! Falcon Arrow? Falcon Arrow from Justin to Slade! One! Two! No! I wanna point out, it will be big if Justin could put down Slade. That would be huge, because it's the former PXT Tag Team Champion and a former MTW IC Champion. It would be huge for just, oh my god, from that far? From that far? Oh, Fox Splash from the top, holy shit! Did he just put down Slade? One, two, no, Slade kicks out! Oh, Joe, I think Justin thinks he needs one more. One last goal, Frog Splash, back to back. Here it is, one, two. Justin has just put away Michael Slade. Holy shit. Never brave, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game. Upset for the night. In my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that stack. Taking big swings, jam to the back. Put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag. Cause I sing what I mean and I bring it to the mind. That actually happened. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Justin just beat Michael Sleep. <laughs> I'm genuinely dumbfounded because he he lost the fucking match almost last year and he just put down a former IC champion. Oh my god. Hell, the crowd was stunned for a second. It showed for a second. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> Justin just put down Michael Slade. Holy shit. Shit! Can we be seeing this year possibly being a big success for Justin? Oh my god! Oh my god. Ne nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, Slade came up short in his match tonight, but honestly, this is gonna set him back against Adonis, because Adonis has already made, made it aware that he wants Slade, and now this is gonna set Slade back a bit. Holy shit! Shit. All right, I think I think uh, I think we gotta I think we gotta have an investigation on Justin. I think we gotta have him. Uh, you know, <laughs> we we need to we, we need to see if he is on. S <laughs> we need to see if he's doing the the, the Crispin Wall treatment, if you know what I mean. Not that okay, probably not that one. Uh, the uh, and then uh, now when I say that, I don't mean the murder stuff. No, I mean like the use. Uh, <laughs> People in the backstage is stunned. I'm not backstage. I'm in the house hiding from back Blackfire, dude. Honestly, I am. I'm genuinely fucking stunned. I didn't even expect that shit. Holy fuck! I don't even know y'all saw it, but I spat a little. That's how much it shocked me. Holy fuck! Justin beat Michael Slade. It's like. Yeah, who remembers Super Crazy? It's like Super Crazy beating John Cena. Prime John Cena. Holy fuck. Okay. I, I, I guess. <laughs> Alright. Steroids. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen. For people who don't remember, last month, Apparently, Carnell and Alexia Gimenez have formed a little bit of a faction of you. There's no name for it, but they are teamed up. You're watching the hardcore match. Why did you call me the birthday boy? Because you were the birthday boy. What do you want me to call you? Birthday child? <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. How old are you turning? You turned 13 today, right? I remember correctly, it was a 12. No, it's 13. 
I want to say it's 13. That I'm confusing you and my nephew. Yeah, I think you turned 13. Are you? Nephews. Yeah, because my nephew turned 13. No, wait, are you turning 20? No. 14. Okay, that's what I was trying to remember. That's right, because that's what I was trying to remember. I was remember, trying to remember if you were older than my nephew or if my nephew was older than you. I couldn't remember. He's a teenage boy. He's the, he's the birthday teen. Now we all got to punch him 14 times. Everyone line up. No, I'm joking. <laughs> In this case, it's not punches. It's Max. I'm joking. Um, so, with that said, back, back to the whole story thing. Um, Cornell and Alexia have made a little faction, if you will. Uh, Alexia and Cornell were celebrating in the back, and apparently, um, Emma was still pissed off for blasphemy, because Alexia fucking bodied the bitch. Where she demanded another match against Alexia, saying that it was nothing more than a fucking fluke. Cornell coming in, saying, listen here, bitch. You don't deserve another shot at my bestie's title, because here's the thing. You got squashed. You failed on your attempt of beating Moreno for the title. You failed on even going for even the MTW Women's Championship. From a failing company, if you will. So, with that said, if you want to shy at her, I can guarantee you, you're never going to fucking get it, bitch. Emma didn't appreciate that and proceeded to punch the living share of Cornell to where it turned into a whole backstage brawl until I came in and was like, hey, yo, bitch, it's kind of shit. Well, we use, we use that, we use that finally. I might be getting sued. Don't ask questions. Point is, though, I told them they're going to have this shit happen back here with chairs and all that crap. They can do it. Tonight, so ladies and gentlemen, tonight it is gonna be Carnell going toe to toe with Emma Reyes in a no DQ match. It says one on one, but it is a no DQ match. He makes me feel so old, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Emma is starting fights with everyone. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Look, man, she didn't have a good year last year. She sort of, she sort of needs to be doing something. <laughs> well, she, she had a good, like, rise up for a little bit, but then she didn't capitalize off it. Now, same thing can be said about her opponent here tonight. Carnell. Carnell? Trying to take some uh, pages from her father, or father and uncle, at the start of their career, her father pretty much aligning with the biggest baddie in his career on every show he's been in, but also possibly trying to maybe sneak in a secret attack off Alexia, who knows? Because the Electro has done shit like that in the past. Not here at PXC and other promotions he's been in. What's to say that Cornell doesn't take that page off her uncle's playbook? I guess only time will tell. But right now, it seems like her and Alexia are best friends. I still say this for Alexia. Watch your back. Never trust that family. Ever. Emma Reyes, honestly, I'm still not gonna lie. One woman that I'm pretty sure a lot of people are still pretty. How do I say it? Um, feel bad for the woman. <laughs> Won her debut. She didn't pick up the win off the women's champion. She then proceeds to lose against the women's champion again with her husband, to where her husband fucking divorced her. <laughs> Came up short for the PXC Women's Championship and never got a shot for the PXC Women's, or oh, correction, the NTW Women's Championship. She just won the opportunity, but she ain't get to compete for it, sadly. Oh shit! Cornell, shut, god damn! Well, Cornell's ready for this shit. Now proceeds to damage the knee of Emma. And now comes in with a, oh my god, springboard! Forearm! God damn, not holding anything back. Wanna point out, Cornell has taken a lot more time to practice on her craft here 
in our training rooms, and we are seeing it now because she's coming in with pure fucking striking power straight to Emma. Look now, Carnell's it's looking to damage the knee of Reyes, and oh wait, oh, it's Ava! It's Ava! Wait, what the hell? What's Ava doing? Wait, I'm not controlling. No, okay, no, I'm not. Moreno's in the ring, and oh, I believe trying to go in for a little bit of assault on Cornell, and Cornell sending. Oh God, just sends her outside the ring, and looks like just staring away. I think right now Cornell's seeing red. <laughs> this is a two-on-one assault right now. Cornell hits Ava with a bat. And Emma's not taking advantage of the mishap. And oh god. Emma's not taking advantage of the mishap. Comes in with a rolling sent on to Cornell. Oh, he's trying to go for trying to go for it back to back. Doesn't get it. It looks like Ava dipped. She realized Emma was gaining the advantage and just dipped. <laughs> I think Ava looking for some payback. God damn. God damn. We're now showing exceptional work held, fending off both former PXC Women's Champion and Emma. Oh, shit. God damn! Emma kicks out of it, but holy fuck! That was a dragon strike right there. That's what that was. Oh, was trying to go for a kick. Doesn't get it. Both women. Oh! That was so cool! <laughs> Both women went for springboard maneuvers. It looked like Emma caught Cornell mid air with a fucking moon salt. Oh, big splash to Cornell! Holy shit! Emma getting Cornell up. Oh, big man over there is that up to put Cornell out of commission. Cornell crawling to the corner. What's Emma gonna do? Emma, Emma is now really taking advantage of the help that Ava sort of gave her. Because holy shit, sh Cornell was destroying her at the beginning. But that little opening has changed the tides a little bit. So right now, sends Cornell to the ropes. And oh god, oh god. Damn, what the fuck was that? I don't even know what the fuck that was. Was that a headbutt or an elbow? One, two. Cornell kicks out though. Holy shit. Now since going out to the ropes. Oh, miss the roundhouse. Is it the strikes? And now, oh! Cornell catching. Emma to the outside. And now proceeds to continue on the outside. No, this is a DQ match. The so weapons are illegal. We've already established this. Oh, wait, is she playing? Oh, playing mind games! Got a sledgehammer, planted it, realized Emma would go to the outside, so took advantage with a big high-risk maneuver with Emma trying to pick up the fucking sledgehammer. God damn, dude. Cornell's now thinking, I'm scared now. <laughs> I don't need another Electro. <laughs> Cornell back in the ring. Go teeing off and now gets Emma onto the ropes and comes in. With a gut shot, send to the ropes. Oh, shit! That was a blaze kick right there. One, two, three! And that is enough to take out Emma. Holy shit! Now it's Cardell's blaze kick, and it looks like it was enough to pull on, take her out. God damn, dude. Ava Rao took 
complete advantage of the no disqualification of the match. Well, I mean, then sort of 50 50. <laughs> Ava, Ava just came in as a little bit of a distraction, but it, it wasn't enough to stop Cornell. Man, Cornell playing waste to Emma. Poor Emma. One day. One day. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are down to our main event tonight. That's right. The show is about to end. We are about to end our night. Yo, Hunter, can you make a mouth for PXT? Never! We, this is a sausage fest already! We have 40 men! We need more women! I'm joking. Uh, if I want, um, yeah, no, it's still open for that. If anything, uh, I think later down the road we might set limits to it, only because, um, we do want to invite more people into PXT as well. And it'll be hard if we all have like so many people, including me, don't get me wrong, because that's why I need to retire some people, because that's why Apple uh, isn't back, because he didn't renew his con uh, contract for Cornell. She's back, mainly because uh, I we need women in here. But now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the main event. So, no, we have not disclosed who is in this main event, but this main event is to determine who is the number one contender for the PXT World Heavyweight Championship. I guess let's still go ahead and see. I think I did that backwards. <laughs> I think y'all saw for a second. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> the big boy himself. And driving. Driving. Why does he call it damn? Why is he what the fuck? Dude, why does he have cake? He has cake now. What the hell? <laughs> The pants is so, his legs are so beefy that they tear a hole in the pants. He's so beefy. <laughs> he has so much cake. Oh, wait, what the hell? Wait, why does he have that? <laughs> Draven. Coming in. Picture, but now who's he going to be going against? Oh, looks like he's going against none other than former hardcore champion, Mox! Well, this is the first time I think we see Mox without a... We need more women. Yes, we do! We actually do. <laughs> Mox still coming in with his fucking motorcycle. Don't ask me where he gets the permit. I have no idea. I thought I was in charge of the permits, but apparently he gets approved all the time, so oh well. <laughs> Now, I, I want to point out here, Mox, in this match, if he wins here tonight, I got to point this out. If he wins here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, Mox is one step closer to becoming the first ever PXT Grand Slam champion to hold one of every title. Because there's only three titles right now that elude him. It is the TikTok, the YouTube, and the world title. He is literally the closest to become a Grand Slam champion. But now with this said, the reason these two were chosen is because these two were involved with the MTW number no contendership match back when MTW was still going. These were the only two that uh, were left that we could put in a match together. So whoever wins this will face Mason at PXT Bond. And Draven already taking advantage of the situation. Ah, damn, Ari lifting up. Mox like he's fucking nothing. Holy shit. I'm working on the new guy right now. Okay. Looks like Draven Ari taking advantage. Comes in with a big splash. Straight to Mox. Oh, he's going in for another one, but Mox, get out of the way. Mox, former hardcore champion. Former one half of tag team champions. I'm actually surprised to see him in here because like I said, when I asked him if the Wolfpack were going to be competing at Bond for the tag team titles, he didn't give me a yes and he didn't give me a no. This might be the reason. I'm not sure. Mox throwing Draven over the top rope. I was over. What's Mox going to do? Looking to continue the offense straight. 
the Draven, but doesn't get it. And now, oh, the Shining Over Sign doesn't get it. Draven, though, gets him up and goddamn drops him <laughs> back first on his knee and now continuing to just stretch the fucking back of Mox. Now, I want to point out, <laughs> either one of these men... <laughs> If Macy goes against either one, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a fucking match at Bond, dude. Oh, I'm now punching the gut. Now I do want to point out because the way Bond is set up, the way that is set up, both the YouTube champion and PXT champion after Bond will have a month vacation. So in other words, if G7 somehow retains the championship, you have a month of vacation. Uh, if Venom wins the title, he'll have a month vacation. So heads up on that. Oh, wait. Oh, what's Mox going for here? Oh, Mox, is he going for? I don't know if that was a Kamora or just an armbar. I don't know. But that was actually something new from his arsenal. Oh! Draven getting him with a shoulder tackle. And now, waiting for Mox to come back in. He's in. Draven getting him set up for a big power bomb. I don't know if that was the meat cleaver, but that might be it. No, Mox kicks out. Now, I want to point out, Draven has been doing some big things at PXC. Hell, he was another man to drop. Oh, see Jill. Okay, see Jill, what he wanted, a big fight. And he's able to drop him with ease. Now, the question is, can he do it again? But this time, for the big shot, for the big title. Oh, shit. I take that off and <laughs> that was put up before we all cut. Yeah, I got you. I have a name for him though. Dun -dun -dun -dun. It's gonna be a heal though. -dun -dun. Also, when you refer to my B day punch, it's a funny story. I had my own lunch table punch me 13. Yeah, <laughs> it's the normal thing, man. And with that, real quick, gonna just do this. Ah, uh, if only I could do that. Alright, so I went ahead and just did that. Because apparently people want to start a little war thing for dumb reasons. What? Right now, Draven taking the action straight to... Oh shit. Great to Max. And now, Dra I, I'm telling you right now, Draven. Draven's showing that he wants this a lot more. Uh, it's so much that apparently. I'll get into it a little bit later after this. Because I'll stop it on the recording too. Because uh, I'll establish, I guess, what happened since people are now wanting to do this on our show. Oh shit, straight jacket! Mox, big maneuver to Draven! No, kicks out! My god, I thought that was actually gonna be it. Holy shit. I thought Mox had it. I thought he actually put down Draven. I was the jig about to be like, holy shit! And that is where we are going to be doing this. It'll still pop up on the videos, but now I must do a thing. Mox right now, taking out Draven. Because, uh... Was going to leave it on good terms and stuff, but apparently people don't want to do that, so I will disclose it after this episode. Excuse me one quick sec, y'all. But with that said, right now... Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what the... <laughs> Mox playing my games! He's playing my games with Draven! Oh, he's trying to go for a big kick! Doesn't get it! Draven catching him with a big clothesline! Oh. Are they both men? Why to see what the other one's made of! Mox is very resilient. Draven, also resilient, but Mox! Oh! Busted open from Draven! Mox still going! 
My God, <laughs> they're going so to toe each other. Oh, Mox asking for more. Oh my God, <laughs> both men going toe to toe with each other. He's asking for more. Mox though, coming back at it. It looks like Mox winning the exchange against Draven, showing that he wants it more. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Go to the straight jacket. Problem is the ropes. He ran for straight jacket. It wasn't enough though. And now Draven looking to get the upper hand with a pop up power slam. It is. That's it. I think one, two. No, Mox kicks out. Mox still fighting. Holy shit. And now Draven has Mox up. Draven looks ready to kill the man. Oh God, just drops him down. And now Draven looking. The possibility to make Mox tap out here. We've seen people lose to this hole before. Can we see it tonight? No, Mox not going to do it. Not going to give up. Mox still going. Mox still fighting. Wait, what? Wait, what just saw? I think that was a super finisher. It did the whole motion. One, two. Did we just see him do a super finisher? Oh my god, I thought we'd never see uh, this. I thought we'd never see a super finisher on this. It did the most, like the fucking camera effects. Oh my god. Mox has defeated Draven. Mox is now going to face Mason for the PXC World Heavyweight Championship. Oh, now that oh, well, now he gets to ride off into it. Okay, cool. Mox is the number one contender for the PXC World Heavyweight Championship. Holy shit. Holy crap. Mox, Mox trying to be in fucking <laughs> Grand Slam. Holy shit. All right. Sadly, sadly, the mood of it was a little destroyed because of somebody coming in because uh, I already said what we were going to say about it. Yeah, honestly, I didn't expect them to ever. I never expected any of these guys to hit super finishers. That's why I never gave one of them super finishers. Um, I gave some of them supers because I when I get or like said back up with that because I was like and eh, the point never hit her but just in case sure enough Mox being the first one to ever hit a super finisher crazy <laughs> all right so I guess I guess now um we'll talk about it but uh real quick for the recording part oh uh, thank you guys for watching uh if you guys like the video uh like subscribe share the video guys friends you guys enjoyed and we'll see you guys for the next episode of PXT peace out